I'm back. Right, well, we'll, we'll get started very, very soon. Second night in a run. Second night on the road. Two what have you, what have you call it? Prolific. Yeah. I'm on a new laptop as well, so I'm just trying to work my way around that. Oh, um, you and me both, mate. You and me both. Yeah. Um. So we have got... Oh, he's back. He's back. <laughs> Okay, right, let's run me? some titles. Yeah, we've got you, we've got you. Let's run some titles and we'll get going. Top that in the way, battling. Having got in way of the attempted clearance. Jim Gannon. Oh, great flick on by Alan Armstrong. Oh, oh, what a beauty! Oh, what a beauty! I waited all my life for that. What a screamer! An absolute screamer! Hello, it's Wednesday night, and Wednesday night is the night we usually do this. Yes, it's the Scarf Bagara War, the show that's crazy for Kitchen, mad about Minihan, and quackers for Quigley. <laughs> Nick here with you for the next hour or so to talk all things county. Yes, if it's happened at county in the last week, you'll hear about it here, unless we completely miss stuff that was clearly on the agenda, like we did last week. Luckily, I'm devoid of both the talent and natural warmth to hold down this thing on my own. With that in mind, it's only Bradbury's number one podcaster. It's Russ Johnson. How do you, mate? You all right? Yeah, I'm good, mate. Before we kick off, uh, we've had upwards of one message about this. <laughs> uh, tell us all about you getting arrested in Huddersfield, mate. Because you just said it last night and just let it go like it was nothing. You want to try to talk about it before we run the titles? I, I want to yeah. know. I want to know what happened, yeah. Um, I think everyone does. I think the number of viewers will quickly drop off after you've told this story. Yeah, well, can I just say it was West Yorkshire Police and it was an injustice. So, you know. That put, doesn't, doesn't sound like them. You know, you know. Um, yeah, well, I got arrested for, well, for, it's, not, it's not even a real thing. It, I got arrested for being um, being drunk whilst trying to enter a football stadium. It's the best way to do it, I find. Yeah. Um, and six of, uh, six of my mates who were just as drunk as me didn't get arrested. So there you go. They got told if they turned around and went away from the ground, they wouldn't be arrested. So that's what they did. But they just arrested me. It's all about the numbers. That's what it is. Yeah. So, yeah. You, you, you're, just another, you're just another statistic, aren't you, Russ? I am, yeah. I am. So, yeah. Representing myself in court, you know, like you do. Um, and they tried to go... They, honestly, prosecution went for a three to five year banning order. That's what they were going for. That's mental. For that. So, yeah. Well, well, well we've, we found out something about you we didn't know tonight. That's that's very good. Th thanks for go. joining the, sh the sharing circle. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. So tonight then. Yes. I'm get, I'm tonight. Some feedback. It... Um, Daz, try not to flick with your uh, with your with your headphones there because it's coming oh. through. Sorry. So, sorry. It's okay. Yeah, well, it, if, you, it, if you worked in audio and stuff, you'd know this. You know what I mean? I, I know, I, I wouldn't, I've never worked in a studio in my life. <laughs> so I wouldn't know. It just goes to show I'm a fucking fraud. <laughs> <laughs> right. So without further ado, we welcome our guest, a returning guest to the podcast. You may have heard him before. I'm not sure what. It was during lockdown, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, last year. Um, last last year. season. Last season. Last, yeah. last season. Um, welcome back to the show, Daz Samson. Hello, How guys. I'm very well. Very well. Good, good. Just fresh um, out of the driving range. That's why I look like a cunt tonight. So I've just been <laughs> to the driving range while the winter's here, you know. Yeah, yeah, like, like you do. I didn't, I didn't know you was a keen golfer. <laughs> look at Nick. As soon as I said the word cunt, he leaned in a little bit there. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm well up for this now. <laughs> 
Oh, now that now that you're going up in the world, we are allowed to swear, right? Or we've got to tone it down. Uh, we've always, always been allowed to swear. Always. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I know you, you, your your population is growing now, so you might get a bit corporate. Yeah, so. no. <laughs> yeah. No, no, Russ is off with prawn sandwiches in a minute, aren't you? <laughs> we're, we're, we're never going to sell out. We're never going to sell out. Really? Um, Didn't you have John Kieran on the other week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he was swearing. It's not, it's not the John Kieran you get on commentary, is it? It's a different John Kieran. after dark. But... <laughs> yeah, John Kieran late. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so tonight, yeah, we're going to talk about the Torquay match on Saturday. Uh, defeat to Torquay. We're going to look forward to Grimsby this coming Saturday in the FA uh, Trophy. Uh, we'll cover a bit about Christmas Jumper Day because that's making a bit of a oh yeah, spoiling some pisses Christmas Jumper Day. So we'll have a bit of a chat about that, and then just whatever floats our boat. We don't really need to go into Daz Sampson and Eurovision because we did all that last no. time. And, and no, we don't that. need to do that. So yeah. we're just here for a chat, really, Daz, and to welcome you back to the show for your, for your second uh, appearance. And with that in mind, let's run the titles. This is the Scarf Bagara War. This is the Scarf Bagara War, a Stockport County fan created podcast, blog, YouTube live show, and website. Find us at thescarfbagarawar.co.uk for county fans. By county fans. There we go. Nearly, nearly had him twice, then didn't we? Yeah, something went something went slightly wrong with my brand new piece with my brand new laptop. There, but there we go. We'll uh, we'll 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 iron those things out as the weeks go on. Um, so let's start with Torquay on Saturday, one nil defeat. In fact, sorry, before we do that, we've got to say hello to all the uh, all the usual crowd who are who are who are messaging in. So with this, uh, by the way, Daz, we do get messages in. Um, and with you being a bit of a big star, people are messaging in to you straight away. So uh, I don't know if you know these people, but we'll say hello to the usual. So Jack, John, PGRC, Joe Inglesfield, <laughs> um, all online as usual. So cheers for listening, guys. And then we've got, we think we know, you should know who he is. I don't know. Ben Hamilton. Any ideas? Uh, I probably know the face. Okay. Right. He's, he's messaging as if he knows you, but there you go. But you are Daz. You are Daz Samson. You are famous. The Daz Samson. Yeah. The Daz Samson. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, yeah. The talk. So Torquay then. Two one defeat uh, away to Torquay. Um, did any of you go? I didn't go. No, no, but it, I, I, I didn't feel I need, I needed to go after I said last week I couldn't see where the next defeat was coming from. But it's just, <laughs> it's academic, isn't it? Yeah. So that's I didn't feel the, like a twat on Saturday. That's not the only stupid thing you've said in the past few weeks, is it? No, but this is the one that's come back. To <laughs> <laughs> they normally percolate. Like, there's certain things I've said that will come up in ten years' time when I'm like tra- when I'm training for Strictly. Uh, and then they'll come up and I'll get cancelled just as it really takes off. Yeah. But, but this one was just devastating and immediate in its downfall. I thought I thought. But okay. I have watched the highlights. We weren't that we weren't that bad, really. It was yeah. it was very similar to the game with Torquay last season. Where yeah. I thought what, we were the the best Tor- Torquay is the one ground that I've always wanted to go to, you know, from the eighties when we used to play up at Edgeley Park on a Friday night. I used to look this is when the railway end had, had you know, like wooden uh, uh, concrete before they put the seats in and there'd be like four guys. And I'd always just think, fucking hell, Friday night pissing down rain. And we always used to do them in the 80s. But then we always used to get beat down there because it's like it's like one of the furthest grounds in it. So I've always wanted to go. I, I did a gig down there once um, during the football season, but I think we'd already left the league. So we weren't scheduled to uh, to play because that was the first thing I looked at the day in Tokyo where I counted down there but no I've always wanted to go but yeah. the fundamental flaw w- w- that we have in our squad at the minute was highlighted by that result and that is you take Quigley out of that side and we haven't got a big front man and that is one of the fundamental problems that we'll, we'll, we'll come across during the season I'm not having that big target, man, because we are a much, much, much better side with him in it than we are without it. Not that we haven't got the quality players around him, but it's just that you take that big lump out of there and, and the quality players have to do a little bit more. 
and uh, it wasn't a surprise that we got beat by them but it's not it's just a blip it doesn't change where we're heading because we are definitely heading in the in the right direction and it's you know I think it's probably a good thing because the bounce back that we'll have from that defeat you'll see for yourself on uh, is it Saturday we're playing Saturday yeah yeah playing okay. Saturday yeah, I, I've been a few times at Torquay. Once I didn't get arrested, but once where I went down and we I think it was an hour before kickoff, it got called off. If anyone remembers that year, I do remember that. I remember that. Yeah, yeah I went to that as well. Yeah. yeah, and then I went on New Year's Day, so I spent New Year's Eve in Torquay. They were, what? They were happy. happy yeah, it was played on New Year's Day, so I spent New Year's Eve in Torquay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I it was it was Chaloner. Chaloner said on the post match, didn't he, that about that balance. And he, and he pretty much said what you said, Daz, you know, without him, we, you know, we look a different team. And I think I think he will he will target that area in the January transfer window. Is um, it worth, is it worth, because we've got, sorry to interrupt, Russ, is it worth going going for Cordwell and having him in the squad? Because I quite, although he's never going to get you 20 goals, Cordwell, but he is a big lump and, 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 and Madden and Reed and uh, Crankshaw and Jennings as he's coming back, I think we'll get a much more, uh, much more of a result off a big lump than when they have to do it on their own. Because Padden, sorry, Madden is not, you know, when we were going long to him under under Rusk, for fuck's sake. I mean, Jesus, you know, he's not he's not that type of player. He's 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 he's, he's like a Beardsley, isn't he? He'll, he'll, he'll just beaver around and get the little loose bits. We need a lump up there. I quite like the, I quite liked Caldwell. Whether or not he's good enough now, I don't know. But we need someone like that. To substitute quickly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm not sure whether it's called well or not, but uh, John Billsbury says, uh, Daz knows we reverted to Rusk Ball because we didn't know how to deal with the lack of quicks. So, um, Rusk Ball obviously being Mr. Rusk. Uh, yeah. So, it sounds like a lot of sideways passing. I, I watched the highlights. I mean, you can't really tell from the highlights, um, but it looked like, you know, how did we lose it? In all honesty, I mean, they had they we had more chance, more good chances than they did. I think I tweeted the other day; it could have been six three to us, really. Um, just and a that's, blip, just a blip. Yeah, but that's the way we we said this last week, didn't we, Nick? Um, this is the way we're going. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be beating teams four one four two, and it's not gonna be one nil. Um, yeah. You watch on Saturday, <laughs> one nil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good old rear guard. Yeah, yeah. Well, but yeah. Was, it, was it a penalty? Was it a penalty to Torquay, do you think? No, I don't, I don't I'm think under, it was. I'm under but... sure. uh, no, I don't, I don't think it was. Obviously, you're not getting the benefit of multiple angles and stuff like that, but yeah, I, I didn't. I thought it was soft. Yeah. But, but was... what people who were, who were there when, were adamant that it was, so... What, people in... Uh, count, what, county fans that were there were adamant it was? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. Well, it was because it got given. So, well, Welcome. yeah, it was a penalty, I suppose. Yeah, um, you say a blip, um, and are you thinking, Daz, that this kind of gets the, his first defeat out of the way? Yes, and so we we have the best manager in that league, and I'm not just saying that he's a he's a great guy, Chandler. It, he's uh, he won't take no. He's not a yes man. I will tell you that right now. He won't take that. No, that's why you've got an instant reaction by the exact same squad. And in, in, in some respects, some players have gone the other way. Because I remember having a conversation with you guys last time we were on about how well Hogan was bringing out the ball under Rusk. Now Hogan, bless him, wouldn't get in a Sunday league team. And that's not me having a go at him. He's just having a bad time. That's all. He's, mm. still, a, you know, he's still a quality player, but he is having a bad time. And his confidence is not. Gets back to the theory of managers make players and make teams. Simple as that. Because we haven't bought any new players. It's all the same. It's, it's still the same players playing a complete. It's like a different team summed up in what I tweeted in the Barnet game by Mr. Rusk, dressed like he's always going to a funeral. Keep it, Macca. For fuck's sake, keep it. I'm 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 five foot away from him saying that in the main stand against Bolton, Mr. Chandler. For fuck's sake, Macca, take him on. And that's the difference. Mm. We're going at teams, and and I know county fans. Right, I've been going county for thirty years. And county fans, we don't mind getting beat as long as we fucking try. You know, yeah. as long as we're having a go. I would rather see us go down four free trying than get a nil-nil at home to fucking Barrow. Do you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. You know, so so one thing that, that will happen, I can guarantee it, because Chandler is the best, best in the business in this league. We'll, we'll definitely get a reaction Saturday. Definitely. 
Yeah, I, I think so as well. That's absolutely, absolutely spot on. I, I, I can't see us going on a run of two or three defeats. I'll, I'll revise my uh, prediction. Of, I, can't do <laughs> I, can't, I can't see us going on a run of more than one defeat. Just to, just to sort of play into that then, Daz, we've not seen Rooney for a while, have we? Is he in, is he in, that, is he in that sort of uh, clique of players that possibly don't like the outspoken manager? Um, well, yeah. Don't get me wrong, he's an absolute quality player. Yeah. Um, I live quite close to Liverpool, believe it or not, and I'll get the hate mail. Um, and I know some people who know him and have played with him. Uh, I don't know him personally, I've never met him. Um, but he's an interesting character. You know, he's, he's, he is an interesting character. So um, maybe there's some personality clashes, but I don't think, I don't think it's a coincidence that he's, he's, he's not in the side at the moment, injury or not. He's still a quality player. But hmm. Chandler, honestly, Chandler is not what the previous manager is. He's not a yes man. And uh, he's going to do it his way because at the end of the day, he's put himself on right offer. He's come from a league side. You know, he got a lot of abuse from the Hartlepool fans, him and his wife and stuff. So people say he's coming for the money, whatever. He's, he's coming because he can see, you know, there's a better chance of us doing better than what Hartlepool did. Also, the geographical side of it comes into it because he lives sort of round here. Yeah. It just makes more sense. He's got a family. But he's not going to suffer fools. He's not going to suffer fools. The one, the one thing I was slightly disappointed in is, for me, if I was managing that team, I would have recalled Newby because he's the only player we've got who will get you four or five set pieces at the edge of the box during a game because he will get brought down because he's the only one who goes at people. Will he get in the side now? No, because of Sasevich, because Sasevich is a better player. But Elliot Newby will go at players and he will draw the fouls. So for set pieces, I would have had him in the squad on the bench. But Chandler's his own man and you can't grumble because, we're, you know, aside from, and we played well Saturday, but aside from the result. He's completely turned it round, and I'm sure 99.9% of county fans are happy now with the way we're going. Yeah, but the thing with the thing with Sarsovic, though, just picking up picking up on what you said, we've not really seen the best of Sarsovic, have we? I agree no. with the newbie. Newbie's a really positive player. Gets it, turns. He's at he's at the defence, isn't he? Trying to make something on in that um in the, sort of the edge of the area. Sarsovic, not really done it for me yet. There's no, but is he going to go? Sarsovic is not going to go though. past a man, but he's got a brilliant football brain and he can pull out a pass. And yes, because of his pedigree, any manager in the right mind would stick him in ahead of Newby, of course. But I just think Newby for an impact, you know, like, you know, Torquay last 15 minutes, put him on the ball, let him go at people, let's see if we can get some set pieces. Because, you know, Ash Palmer is one of the best in the league getting on the end of uh, set pieces. You know, so we. we Listen, I'm not the manager of the team. I'm just a washed-out old rap artist, as you can see. From that. <laughs> <laughs> so who, who am I to tell him what he's doing? But, you know, I just that, that's the one person I definitely would have recalled because um, certain people like Reedy, bless him, has lost his way a little bit. I mean, really lost his way. And I think that, you know, that and he, and he last season, one of those players that, that just did something, a tapping at the back post, he created something like at the spur of a moment which got us back in, into games and stuff. And we haven't got that this year, but we have got quality in Crankshaw and Sartovich and Ryan Rydell from the left is delivering really well. So, you know, I'm very, 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 very happy with, with, with how things are at the minute. Yeah. Sorry, Nick, sorry, you're going to say something? Or is uh, it gone? People, people have seen, yeah, it probably it always goes. <laughs> um, a few people asking if uh, people are bring Ali back from loan from his loan at Chorley. I don't think he's the answer to that. I think he's more of a wide player who comes inside than... I think that the... Fight, the Richie Bennett is what one a few people have mentioned. That'd be funny. That'd be funny <laughs> if, uh, if, if, if we signed Bennett on, on, on loan or something from Sutton. That, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, I think, I think, I think Melanie yeah. Kelly's a bit lightweight, isn't he, to be to, to replace yeah. Quiggs up there. No, he's um, one for the future, but... Not, but yeah. Sorry, that's he's that's one for the right. future. That, that that's the kid with the left foot, isn't he? he? Scored the other night in the Cheshire Cup. Is that the same one we're talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, there's another kid that I seen against Hyde, and he's got a left foot, little midfield, they're very small, but I don't remember his name, but he, he definitely I mean, added. Toby Green, I think that. Yeah, he definitely had it. He, he can't be that far off. But getting back to Bennett, when Bennett and Reed were playing up front under Gannon, that was our most prolific. You see what I'm saying? If you've got mm. little nippy little players. 
If you put a lump up there, they get in the little pockets. But when you just put Madden up front on his own, yeah, we're yeah, not getting yeah. people in the pockets. That's why we're not scoring the goals when we haven't got the lump playing. And I say a lump is a technically brilliant lump, by the way, Quigley. I'm not, I'm not condemning him, by the, but what I'm saying is he's just a big presence. He's one of the most technically brilliant lumps we've ever had. I yeah, think. he's brilliant, he's, brilliant player. He doesn't, so don't doesn't get me wrong. Brett Angel, doesn't he? No. Do, do you know what Brett Angel was shy. No, he was not shy. Some of the, Brett some Angel of the, some wasn't of, shy. Some of the goals <laughs> Angel scored in 96, 97. Quick feet. Oh, brilliant. He, he, he I'm, ran like he to, I'm joking. <laughs> Brett Angel's a god. Come on. <laughs> he ran like he had no calves, but he was a decent oh. Um Yeah, I mean, if you've got any questions for us or for Daz, um, just, just do message in and we will pop them up. As, as always, if they're sensible. Um, so let's talk about Quigs and let's talk about January transfer window before we get on to Grimsby. Mm-hmm. Who would you replace him? Because we've got one here. Direct, directed at you, Daz, this is a question for you. Would you sign Shimanga? No. That's, not, that's like saying, would would you sign Ronaldo? It's not going to happen. No, why, not. Why, why, are, why are Chesterfield going to sell us Shimanga? No. If, if just, we don't need him. We, 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 we do not need him. I think he's got a release that, clause. We don't need don't him. So. And, and he's not going to come... Why, why, we don't need, why is he going to come to be a backup? To, why is he's one of the top scorers in the league and he's getting the Chesterfield team every week? Why is he going to come to be a backup to Quigley? Because that's essentially what he's going to be. I think people need to stop banging this Shimanga drum, really. Just, I mean, Ch- Chester, Chesterfield have won the lottery now. They're not, they don't need to sell him. It, it'd be very besides, different. If it, if it got to March or April... If they're not, they were t- telling me, tell Ben from Hazel Grove. Well, I, I, I am. I'm telling Ben from Hazel Grove. I'm telling everyone. I'm telling the world. This is the bit that I'm going to cut out and post tomorrow. Public service <laughs> announcement. Um, yeah, it's like if, if Chesterfield hasn't got that cup game against Chelsea and then it got to March or April and it looked like they weren't going to get promoted, then we'd have a chance of getting him. But as it is, that, that, ch- that draw, draw they got against Chelsea has just changed everything and they, don't need, they won't need to sell him now. They're sorted. So, so let's just make another list of players that are unobtainable, and we're not going to sign. I really, I really hope like Simon Wilson isn't spending his time trying to sign Shimanga right now. If Simon Wilson right now is like compiling reports on no. Shimanga, I'm going to be fuming. No, not a chance. The only thing Wilson's doing right now is looking in the fucking mirror. <laughs> Say that right now. He needs to tick the uh, available button, doesn't he? And he's, and he's, Nick's head just went down there because he's thinking, oh, fucking hell, there's our corporate sponsorship gone down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not stupid. I've been watching you guys. I know where you're getting. No, no. no we, we, don't, we don't. Listen, at the end of the day, you, so you're talking about someone to replace Quiggs there, Russell. We don't because Quiggs is brilliant. We need someone that can come in and do a job for a game or two if he's out, injured or suspended because he's definitely going to be the number nine all season. No, no two ways about that. I just personally think we haven't got... We've got loads of, you know, like substitutes for different positions like Crankshaw and, and, and Jennings and two of... But we haven't got an out-and-out because out, Reed is not an out-and-out out replacement um, no. for, for Quiggs because he can't lead the line. He, he, he plays off the seconds and he, and he used to be very good at it. He's having a torrid time at the minute. But, you know, you don't go shit overnight. It'll come back. He just needs to score. He just needs to get a few goals and, and get moving again because he's still a quality player, but he is slipping back. Whether or not we're just getting better and better and his level's being found, I don't know. But he's still a quality player. We, we, okay, I mentioned Cardwell. Maybe not him, but it, someone of that ilk that come in, get a few quid, do a job when he's needed, but be happy to sit on the bench. I'd, I'd take Tom Denton. I've... I've... It, it'd be a nice little bookend to the non-league banter era. A, a, a player we got, a player we got linked with every year of being non-league. It's a local lad, and it was always, yeah, we'll we'll get him, we'll get him eventually. It, yeah, let's have him. Let's. Have, he can be our Ken Charlery. Oh yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. That's what that, <laughs> when you said it. That's who I thought. That's honestly. Tom, oh. if you're watching, come and be our Ken Charlery. Come and hold the ball up at Chesterfield for three months. <laughs> Please, <laughs> Tom, Tom, we're begging you. We're begging you. Come and finish your career by firing us into the football league. Come on. So, Makes what, sense, what, doesn't what, it? What, do you, what do you think Challen is going to do? Uh, do you think he's going to dip into the loan market, or because we we need we need an understudy, don't we, for Quicks's particular style of play? Otherwise, we're, we are going to have results like we had on Saturday. 
Yeah. But for whatever we do, do not get that German guy who came and disappeared. <laughs> now, now, can, I, can I get on the soapbox on that? See, that yeah, stinks. Yeah. That stinks to me of a manager being told, yeah, we've got this player. Because there's no way in God's green earth Russ could have seen that guy play. No way. No way. Do you way. think it was like, do you remember when Sooners signed that lad for Southampton? Because so, someone, well, phoned, it, someone phoned Sooners up claiming to be George Ware. And he's like, yeah, oh, yeah, I remember, and, and, he, and he actually came on in the Premier League and got yeah, took and off. He, he's terrible. Yeah. yeah. The same thing happened to us. Where's he gone? He came on for 20 minutes and no one's ever seen or mentioned right. him since. And it stinks of maybe someone sat in the stand combing his hair picking a team or picking a player. You know, I think we all know what I'm trying to say here. Yeah. Uh, is it, is now, I don't know. Idea, this, is just, this is just my idea, but, you know, I've been involved in football at quite a high level. And, and so I do know that you get, hey, this, this, this um, Stevie Quiz, he's, he's quite a good player. I think we should give him, in other words, play him or there's going to be trouble. I'm not saying that happened, but you guys know your football. Should he have been on that pitch? Do you see that fucking chance he missed? I think we would have, all three of us would have done that, scored that. So if I, he somehow created that chance for himself, which was like the most we created all game. It was weird, it was a weird paradox in that he was the only one who created anything. And then when he did create it, you saw he was just woefully out of his depth. It's all it, about it was, opinions, isn't it? Against? Against? Who was it against? Was it Yeovil? Yo- oh. Yeovil, yeah, Yeovil. Yeah, fucking hell, yeah. I think we were already 3-1 three, three, down, were we? I think. No, we, we didn't score, so we were 3-0 three oh, three, down. 3-0 three down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even, even better. But anyway, um, that's just, yeah, it's all about opinion. But yeah, in, as far as the squad is concerned, Quiggs. Get, yeah. get an understudy for him, not someone to replace him, just someone to help us when that situation on Saturday happened. And I think we're there. I mean, you know, I, I can't see us... I can't see us not being there. There's, everywhere else is really strong. Ben in the goal's got his confidence back. He's losing teeth now for the cause. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, should we should we should we dare to talk about the uh, director of football role? Because I know I know, <laughs> I, I know let's let's do it. We, we, we're getting some comments in, so we might as well. Um what dad, dad, come on, tell us what do you think about the role itself? Right. Summit's not right. Listen, by the way, I'm a huge Mark Stock fan. What he's done for our town and our club, you know, you cannot thank him enough. So I'm not bashing people there before people have a go at me. I'm just saying, for whatever reason, arguably one of our best managers since Danny Begara gets shown the door, gets made to sign a non-disclosure. Okay, why? Why can't he talk about why he's left? Same manager's just left doing the same thing. Why can't he talk about... Do you see what I'm saying? That doesn't add up to me. Now, this is allegedly before anyone mm. comes at me. This is just what I've heard. All right. I, as soon as Russ came in, I knew he was a yes man. And I, because I've watched so many academy games, and I said to my mate, we're going to start going sideways here. And in the National League, it will not work. It will not work. Because the National League, you know, in some respects, is better than League Two. Honestly, because there's so much hunger in there for teams to want to get out. Mm. You know, so. Uh, it was no surprise. And as for McGee, Jesus Christ, the fucking Statue of Liberty done more work in the last six months than what he had. <laughs> fucking hell. McGee. It's just, everything about them two was just not Stockport. You know, so I'm so pleased that Challoner's come in. I, you know, I remember speaking to Breno before Channeler came in and we were talking about who do you reckon's going to come in? And he actually said, I think Channel, you know. And I went, that's a fucking great shout. And, and whoever's got Challoner, whether it's Wilson, whoever's got him, Fair play. That's the most astute move someone's done this season because he's definitely the right man for the job. But something is not right behind the scenes in there. Um, but it seems to me like it's clearing. Maybe, maybe, it, maybe you know, you get a lot of directors of football who, you know, who had trials once at Luton and think they know how to manage a football team. And, and, and you know, it's, it doesn't work that way, particularly not in non-league. It doesn't work that way. You know, it... it, it you need people who know what they're doing, particularly at that level. And we have got someone who knows what they're doing now. So I don't want to come on here bashing, bash. I can only go off what's happened in, since they've come in. Mark Stott had kiss his feet for what he's done for this football club. The other mm-hmm. fella, I'm not so sure. You know, in music, they always say you're only as good as your last record. Well, my last record's fucking shit. All right? So... <laughs> Didn't our director of football, his last football appointment, wasn't it at Sunderland? And we all know what happened there, don't we? 
And on that note, yeah, I'll put it back to you. Yeah, I, I, mean, I agree with a lot of what what Daz has said there. Actually, um, yeah, but obviously, director, it's a very it covers all manner of sins. Like director, that phrase director of football does. It's very very broad, isn't it? So if if it's a matter of sorting out, I mean, we led to believe Simon Wilson was involved in the, the whole training ground thing. That was all down to Simon Wilson. So if if it's a case of him dealing with that infrastructure stuff, like development. And then if Chaloner wants a player, he can go to him and say, oh, get me this player. Then that, that's that's fair enough. It's when, when we see enough. the... Because, I mean, Ryan McKnight wasn't a director of football in name, but that's what he was doing. That's mm. what him and Spencer Firm are doing. When it's that type of director of football, it very rarely ends well. In fact, okay. never, so can I come in, can I, never. Nick, Nick, can I come in there? So, we give Newby a two-year contract and he never gets near the first team. Who's giving him that two-year contract? It cannot possibly be the manager. If I was no managing chance, Stockport no. County, I wouldn't sign a player that I'm going to not play. I'd let him mm. go. Well, so who's signing exactly, that player? That's exactly it. That, that, I think, was Wilson signing that player. That's Wilson doing yeah. that negotiating. But I think, I think now, he's from, from what we can see, I think with the Rusk sacking, I think he's essentially been told, well, you, you've had your chance. Yes. And we're doing it our way now. So I, I think, because the, the appointment of a new chairman a couple of weeks before we got a new manager, and not just a new manager, but a new philosophy. Like, yeah. You know what I like about the time. new chairman, Nick? You don't hear from him, which means he's getting on with it behind the scenes. Yeah. Right? Which brings me to the sit-down cup of teas. Now, I'm going to get hate mail for this. The sit-down cup of teas with JK. There's two things that I take from those sit-down cups of teas. One of them, bullshit, and the second one, after the interview, Mr. Wilson will definitely have a clean ring. <laughs> uh, I'm sure a lot of county fans will say, you see, the, the thing is with county fans, right, that they're, they're, a new, they're a unique breed and they won't swallow it. Do you notice we tried to go very corporate very quick, right, and, and it tripped a lot of County fans didn't quite jump on that. And there's nothing wrong with progress and there's nothing wrong with wanting to be in the championship. All right. But we're not in the championship yet. We're still in non-league football. And we have to make, for me, the stage is a bit, you know, all got a bit corporate and let's just feed the fans what they want to hear. Well, we're just too fucking intelligent. We'll see through that. You know, you can't do it to us. You know, let's get a media guy on there who, you know, I know for a fact. For a fact that he's told what questions not to ask during the um, during the reign of our funeral director, previous manager. Okay, that's all gone out the window. Now. I tell you, I really like Sam Byrne. Sam Byrne on them commentaries is the only one who fucking tells it how it is. The only one. I'd, I'd contend and say that in the last couple of months, John Kieran has also joined him in that because. I think you want your, your club comment, like your local radio, follow it, like the comment on your club. You want them to be biased, I think. Um, but I, I think John has gone less company in the last couple of months. But the, listen to the Barnet game in particular. He he, he was also talking. Like, I, I think I think recently there's been now John's not a director. I think he can kind of say it how he sees it. So I think I think. Very, I mean, we're talking very recent, like last couple of months, but I, I think there's been a change, yeah. By the way, I'm not singling John out here because I love John. John's a great oh. guy. So, I'm not, and, and anything that I'm saying now, I'll say to anyone's face. So I'm not having a... I'm just saying that it went very corporate under the previous regime. Mm. I, I didn't... I didn't like... You know, it's like... All County fans were spending 9, 13 quid on fucking terrible streams at away games and stuff like that. That's because we love our club, you know, we would do it. But it just went too corporate, you know. It's like, you know, you could just tell after that Halifax defeat, he was being told what to ask. Was he, what's he called? Liam. Again, nothing against him. And I could be wrong, but having worked in the media, it was very safe. Let, you know, let, let's just stick to the positives. No, there is no positives. You've got 1,500 fans in that fucking stand over there who've just had to watch you play sideways fucking football. Go for it. Go for it. And that's why, for me, it just wasn't all adding up. It just didn't add up. And it was absolutely no surprise that they made the change. Whoever made that change, congratulations, because you've done the right thing and you've saved the season. 
I, I think there's an element of that always being the case. So, I mean, every manager I can remember has, ne- has never will never be asked difficult questions by the club outlets, and it's always that's the case all the way up the pyramid. I think. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, think I, don't John, think, I, think... I don't think it's anything unique, but no, John John Kieran used to ask Jim proper tactical questions. Yeah, tactical questions, but not... Oh, yeah, because not... you'd actually get a good answer. Imagine he asked Simon Rusk a tactical question. Fucking hell. Well, it is what it is. Let me just ask Simon. Let me just ask Mr Wilson, see what, he, what I can say. It is what it is. Yeah, but, but, the, but the, the, club, the, club, the club commentators and things, no matter which club you're at, do not ask difficult questions to the manager of said club, do they? It's usually the BBC Manchester's or the, the other the mm. third-party outlets that do the difficult question asking. Wait. Even then, if they want to get interviews in the future, well, exactly, they, yeah, they, they tend to shy away. It depends what your relationship is. I mean, there were certain journalists. I think Ferguson got, like when Ferguson was at United, that he got on with and could kind of manipulate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he'd, he'd be using them, but he'd all, he'd also let them ask the difficult questions and get away with it. Whereas anyway, others, Nick, I agree with you, Nick. Right? In in recent times, it has changed. What 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 I'm saying is. The club got took over. Somebody come in, and they definitely changed the way the media side of it was. Definitely, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, you don't have to have any uh, one degree of intelligence to see that. But since the Barnet game, yes, and during the Barnet game, it has become. It's, it's almost like you, you're free to ask or you're free to say what you want. It's like me. I'm I'm saying what I think now, you know, and 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 you're coming back and and giving your opinion. That is what it's all about. And just me personally, I really like Sam Byrne because every time I've listened to him, he actually tells it as it is. Maybe because he's not connected to the club in that mm, way. Yeah. He's not on the, you know, but he just tells it how it is. And I thought that that put me, for me personally, that kept me going during yeah. the Rusk days. It did. It kept me going thinking, well, this Definitely, guy, if, yeah. this guy's see, if this guy's seeing it, then at least I'm not on my own not seeing yeah. that, what is happening here. I'm not going mad. Right, yeah. 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 Well, you've not heard my latest record. Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> do you, Do you think with all that, you know, like you can see, it, you're not going mad. Would Would it have Would it have Would have more county fans have seen it had they been in the ground? Because it'd have been a completely, totally different scenario, wouldn't it? If we'd have been all, but all been allowed in the grounds, you know, bef- last season. I mean, before it, before. I, I think that's a yeah, that's a very good point, that Russ, because there was there was a it was a case last season of oh, we do look a bit tentative. But that'll be down to because because a lot of team a lot of teams look very tentative <coughs> at all levels who didn't normally so yeah. you put it down to that but it turned out it wasn't just that yeah and don't forget John Kieran as well said on on this show a few weeks ago that it, what was it with the Dover manager it was Andy Andy Hessenthaler, is it I think yeah. Dover manager he yeah. said that they were nil nil at half time and they and Dover was shit and you know we were pretty good it was nil nil at half time and he knows that had that been the case with fans in the ground we'd have got on our players' backs or you could have felt the tension. So he thinks he would have had a better chance. Whereas we ended up running out 3-0 winners, I think, in the end, in the second half. So yeah. Um, so it works yeah. both ways, really, I suppose. So, yeah. so, so just just to pick, again, pick up on something you said before, Daz, you said, now it's changed. So the, the only thing that's changed that I can tell, really, the way it's actually made a step change is that we've got rid of Rusk and brought in Chaloner. The media's still the same. Wilson's still there. Okay, we brought Elston in, but that was before. So what what are you sort of hanging? No, hanging it's about it's a, it's about right. Okay. So now when I watch an interview after the game or before the game or with a player, whatever, I can there's like an energy difference. Now, okay, that could be because the new manager. It just feels like it just feels like someone's walked in the door and gone, right, how you've all been doing this from top to bottom in the last eight months is fucking wrong. And it's changing, and the why, and the reason why it's changing, and of course results change energy. Fact, you know, and the Bolton game, you know, it doesn't matter what happens this season. Okay, we all want to go up, but that that was like you know injecting the purest heroin into your veins. Yeah. Not that I look okay, at Nick; his fucking ears pricked up. There. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like that, yeah. No, but no, but it it, it just was such a high. It's such a high that that game. It just reinforced the fact that hey, we, we might be back here. We might be back, and the beauty of it is we ain't signed anyone. So it just goes to show you that what we were doing previously was wrong. Yeah. And uh, 
you know, and, and hey, if it is Mr. Wilson that's identified it and changed it, then props to him. I'll, you know, like I say, I'm not, I'm not personally attacking him. I can only say what I see. And just to pick up again, John Kieran, a fantastic guy. I've known him for years. I'm not having a go at John. I'm just saying that I noticed there was there was a line of question that had changed from Jim Gannon into Mr. Rusk. And I just thought John maybe was towing the line for the new regime. I'm not having a go. It's my opinion. John yeah. could come on here and go, that last Daz Samson record was fucking atrocious. I'm not going to fall out of him. Why? Because it's the truth. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I just wonder whether there's another angle. And, and my opinion, although I'm not sort of hanging my hat on this opinion, but listening to John on the podcast a few weeks ago, I, I get the sense that he really, really liked Simon Rusk as a man. So probably yeah. didn't want to ask him difficult questions. I think PJRC's mentioned it here. They were trying to protect Rusk. And I think that I think that, that there's, there is a there is an element of truth to that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, let it, me ask let part, me ask you a question, Rusk. Russ, can I ask you a question? And to you, Nick, because I've never got your opinion. Forget about hindsight. When Russ came into the building, were you convinced? No. I was uh, I was underwhelmed, but thought, well, give him a chance. You know, he's, he's the manager of Stockport County, so, you know. I, I, I was both underwhelmed and disgruntled. But, yeah, same. It was, well, give him a chance. We'll, we'll find out. And it was, yeah, I, I kind of... Within about a month and a half, two months, I'd, I'd made my mind up. And there's a thing, Nick, and we were doing well in that period, you see? Because it's the style of football. Any county yeah. fan that's been going for a long time or anyone who knows anything about football, whether it's grassroots or not, knows that the robotic system... See, this is what academies preach. Now. This is why, you know, the FA courses and badges and all, it's a fucking waste of time. It's just money. Right? Because the, where's the Gascoins? Where's the Vinnie Joneses? Where's the Chris Waddles? You know, where's the Neil Ruddocks? Where's the Cantonars? Where's the Inces? Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish is the nearest we've got to Gascoigne. Not in ability, in the fact that, you know, he'll go out and he'll, you know, be seen coming out of a brothel or whatever. You know, so that's the best. That's, that's because the what... benchmark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only going by your standards, Nicholas. So, <laughs> so uh, we've seen you, that place on Edgerly. Anyway, so. Uh, <laughs> what, what's, what's the Take what's the diet? address of that place, just so, just so I can avoid it. Take the diet yeah. carpets, that's what it is, mate. <laughs> anyway, so, um, so, so, so uh, you, you've lost me trade of thought, so you got me on brothels now, my head's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Episode title. No, but I, I think I, the reason why I give you more time, and you said it at the time, Nick, you did, after two or three months, you said this is, this is going to end up in a car crash. The reason why I gave him more time, and just again coming back to what you said about Grealish and Gascoigne, that I think it's I think there's an element of Perito's 80 20 year. You need 80% of that structure, um, you know, instructions, having shape, all that kind of stuff that I think Rusk was really good at because he was an under 23 manager and he was developing mm -hmm. players. Great. And then you need the 20% where that's where you have your players that can just do things out of nothing, like hit a thunder bastard from halfway line. And I felt like we had that with Rooney. So I, I, I was giving him more time because I thought, well, it's his first job, under 23 manager, in the limelight, got, you know, fans behind him, all that kind of thing. Give him time to try and work this out. And it was only until the start of this season that I started to think, nah, he's had long enough now. Ed, Ed's gone. Um, and do you know so what? That, it's fine. That, it's fine rationale. lines. Fine lines. Because if Madden would have scored that goal against Hartlepool in the playoff, yeah. it could have been all so different. Fine lines. Because if we would have got to the final, we would have won it. We would have beaten Torquay. But these are the fine lines. So you know, it, it is what it is. And like I say, I don't want to bash people. He just was never. A, he was just was never a Stockport County manager. Never, never was a Stockport County manager. So yeah. you know, I wish him well. He'll, he'll get a job in an academy somewhere, and he'll have them playing that way all academies most academies play that way now because they're you know they're scared of losing the ball so they keep mm. it and they try and probe an opportunity they try and pull it from side to side and they try and get in between the lines and if, you, if you're not brought up on that football it's like you know watching paint dry it's just ugh. I get a feeling in the next five years or so we'll cross paths with Rusk again in the football. I, th I think he'll, he'll, yeah. he'll get a football league club in the next five years and he, he will do it because he can get away with that style in the football league more. He was just wrong man, wrong time. 
Yeah. I mean, I mean, and anyone coming in following one of our best managers of all time was gonna was gonna struggle regardless. But to give it to someone who was just like a deer in the headlights, um, was yeah, that absolutely ridiculous. It was. Well, thankfully, we've we've got a proper manager again now. It's good. Yeah. Let's move on to one who's going to lead us into the FA Trophy campaign. Oh, nice. Saturday. Well, hey, there you go. I should have said that, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah. uh, Grimsby on Saturday then, FA Trophy. We did a poll about this, didn't we? Um, not last week, week before, I think, or recently. Um, majority went with, um, it's a bit of a run out to the FA Trophy. So get players fit, get them playing again. You don't agree, Nick? No, I think we should be... Well, e- even if we put out our second eleven, it's still good enough to beat anyone in non-league, really. So we should be looking to win it, I think. And I, I think Challenge will think the same. I've been I've been banging this drum on air for a few weeks, but I, yeah, I really think we should go. And a, and as I said, a day out at Wembley. People, I bet people were like this about the auto glass in the nineties, and then like you know, good show, good show. Get, get into get into finals and stuff. It's a, a day out at Wembley with no pressure feels like the dream to me. I, I just I just can't I can't imagine what that must be like because it's it's very rare that you get that really because I mean you get to Wembley for a playoff final or a cup final there's pressure but it's still a, you know, it's still it, a trophy it, final isn't it it's still pressure I, I know it? but it's it's not like it's not like it's the FA Cup final and you need it to get into Europe you know what I mean it's just it will be a nice little bonus once we've already pissed the league what do you think Daz? FA trophy well Buffered? well look. To get to Wembley, yeah. And I think Nick's got a very good point. I think Chandler's a winner and he just wants to win football yeah. matches. It doesn't matter if it's the Cheshire Senior Cup. He wants to win football matches. Uh, you know, do we... How serious... Well, we'll know on Saturday, won't we? Because if, if he puts a, a very, very strong team out, which I think he's going to, because he still won't want to he won't get beat. Do you see what I'm saying? He won't want yeah. another defeat. He won't. Particularly, Ed, it's Edgel, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll reserve judgment until I see the team. But a chance of going to Wembley, I think that would be good for the town. It'd be good for the situation in the country. You know, people in Stockport are in because of the COVID thing. And uh, more importantly, to win a football match, it gets momentum, Just, mm. and that's what it's all about at this stage. They say that Christmas sets you up, don't you? For, for how you're doing at Christmas and December sets it up. So a win, obviously, the league's. You know, yeah, of course. Yeah, it'd be nice to get to Wembley. Can we? Of course. Will we? Eh, not sure. I, I, uh, I yeah, as Jack says, it's something we should aim to win. It's publicity. A couple of them does know how to. And I, yeah, I think Jack's spot on there. As, particularly, as you said, Daz, given that we lost on Saturday. I, I think having, having yeah. that, two, two defeats in a row going into like a busy Christmas period isn't isn't you the see, dream. I'm, I'm, I'm not so sure about aim to win it. I, Try, you know, try and win your matches as they come along. Yeah, you know, especially this Saturday, it's a, it's a great chance to bounce back from last Saturday. Aim to win it. Aim to win it sounds like you're prioritising it or oh, no. uh, putting it on the same priority level as the league. Well, no, no, because the league, we're going balls out to win it. And we're aiming to win it. Oh, you right, know, okay. I, I, I'm aiming <laughs> to, like, bump into Keely Hawes. On, oh, on yeah? the street, That's a bit... and, and, for, and for her to say, "Drop to come around," but it doesn't mean I'm prioritising it over everything else because it's not going to happen. And my missus will shout at it, me. It sounds like you are prioritising if you're going to aim well, to do it, Nick. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly the point I'm making. You ruined my point. I know I'm right. So, so we Let should me have my own truth. <laughs> so we're a, we're aiming to win the FA Trophy. I'm I'm aiming to win the lottery next year. <laughs> so we'll see, that, we'll, see, we'll see how that goes and the county should be aiming to win the FA Trophy but with the FA Trophy it's in county's hands we're, we're, at the end of the day we'll be favourites for it it's, it's non-league team. it's not like we're going to get drawn away to an awful non-league team uh, to an awful League 2 side and get beaten but you'd love that anyway Russ because we know what you're like with cup, <laughs> we know what you're like with cup draws you're really deviant um, but no no, I, 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 I'm, I'm all for the trophy this year I've, I've never minded it anyway because Normally, it's been a good chance for rotation. We've had some good games in the trophy as well. The semi-final with Fylde a couple of years ago springs to mind. Um, yeah, but it'd be nice to win it before we before we fuck off out of this footballing purgatory. I just think it's it's 
a cup that we, in my in my sort of my mind's eye, we shouldn't be competing anyway because we shouldn't be in non-league. I know we are. We are. I know. It was the same with Division no, no. Six, and you celebrated that. The what? But it was the same in Division Six, and you celebrated that, even though what, what winning the league? Yeah, yeah, but I celebrated. It, there was there was definitely um, it it wasn't a celebration like we'd won the League Two playoff final. It was definitely but, a right. It was but, definitely. It was almost like a tick in the box. We've done that now. Right, let's get into the next division. We need to get back to that football league. But I, I'm I'm not saying right. Grimsby on Saturday. I want to see Quigley up top. I want to see Madden. You know, I want like first choice playing all the way through. If we put a second eleven out, that's not. But that's not, that, that, but that's not aiming to win it. It is. No, it's not. I think. I think. I think <laughs> putting our second. Putting our second eleven out. It's not aiming to win it, which you said before. Our second eleven is better than anyone else. Still better than anyone else's first team in that, apart from like barring two or three. So I think if we put put our second team out and saying, "Yeah, yeah, that's that's good enough to win it," that counts as aiming to win it. It's not like we're good at all, but no one's disagreeing with me in the comments. No one's saying, "Yeah, you're right, Russ." Nick's talking bollocks. So is that not a sign? Please well, just so let you... me not be talking bollocks for once. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I, so just, I just, I don't know. I just, like, can I, if I continue my point, right? Well, no, because it's, it's shit. No, <laughs> oh, well, there you go. <laughs> fucking hell. No, it's like, it's like the, this Cheshire Senior Cup. I've never once but been asked about the Cheshire Senior Cup. Never once. But that, and like this season, everyone's going, oh, we're going Macclesfield away. Well, I, to me, no, I'm not, I'm not going to go with Macclesfield away. FA Trophy's the same. We're, we're playing well, it. We'll play, we're playing it. I'll go to the games if they're at home. I'm not going to go to an away FA Trophy game. And we, pl- we we just play players where we need to get momentum. If we win it, the tie, great. If we don't, it'll be shrug shoulders. Yeah, yeah, which is what I'm saying. But I'm saying I'd well, like us to win it. And I think you said aim to win players. it, though. You said you said aim to win it. It's the same thing. It's, it's not the same the fucking... thing. Right, let's move on. Let's move on. But, but surely, <laughs> as a football team, you aim to win every match you play. So as a byproduct of winning every match you play, you're gonna get in. You're gonna win the FA Trophy, aren't you? I I think you're t- no, no no one's no. disagreeing with me, Ross. So I no. Think- let's I'll oh, I'll I'll come back to my earlier point. You 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 you're putting them on the same priority level, and that's not we need to we need to prioritize the league. Yeah, well, yeah, I am. That, that's why I'm saying we should play like what would be a second eleven. We should rotate. We should make wholesale changes. We should eleven changes get form and minutes and fitness into players. But come on. That, that, that was a, just a discussion that didn't need to be had, really. It's not like it's buddy. It's not what like I'm mean, suggesting... What do you mean, a discussion that didn't need to be had? So you're just, like, throwing out my opinion as... as, as No, no, it was an shit. argument that didn't need to be had. Oh, know? an argument. Okay, right, okay. Yeah, okay. You, 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 you got, got your words mixed up again, aren't you? You get your words mixed up again. I think you should... Well, I, I often pispronunciate a lot of my whims, so... <laughs> right, let's move on. Grimsby, then. Are you going? Not like not with that attitude. I'm not no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Are, you, are you? I'm going. Yeah. Are, are you sure? I mean, yeah. you're not going to be bothered if we lose, though. So why why would you be going? No, no not lose? particularly. No, not not particularly. No, no. Same, same. I'm going. I'm going because it's last home game before Christmas, and I'm going to make a point of not wearing a Christmas jumper. Us. Oh. Have you heard about this one, Daz? What the Christmas jumper? For has he not got it on now? Oh, Nick. Oh, no, he's got that. He's got that check shirt on. I didn't know the yeah. 1990s were back. <laughs> they never went away, mate. <laughs> I know, I made a fucking full career on it. So, yeah, so the Christmas jumper day on Boxing Day, this got this, this uh, boiled a bit of piss online today. Um, the, the club have announced that they, they, want, they want to encourage everybody to wear a Christmas jumper on Boxing Day as a bit of fun. Um, and some people don't like that. I think it's very Man City. You won't have a problem with that loving Man City and all of us. But <laughs> I, 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 think, I, think it's, it's, I think it's very manufa- manufactured atmosphere slash force fun. I, I might have worn one as well. I might have worn a Christmas jumper or, dare I say, a Christmas onesie. But now I won't be. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear like a full suit. No, I like a bit of funeral. Because you know what's died? The party. It's the death of the party, Russ. Is it? What do you think, Daz? 
I don't give a fuck. No, I, see no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, so it's go. Christmas. So it's Christmas, so we'll all be pissed anyway. Yeah. The, the thing, the thing I have. I do have a bit of a problem about is uh, Christmas ends at midnight on Christmas Day for me. Boxing Day. Christmas ends at about five o'clock when you finish the last bit of turkey, mate. Yeah. Turkey oh. finished, tree down, right? Get them fucking decorations down. Yeah. <laughs> get, get, that, get that Bailey's put away for next year. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Any more arguments you want to have, Nick? Anything else? I've, plenty. Um, I've I've had an argument with the missus about oh, okay. uh, why because uh, Aldi they do you know uh, Marks and Spencer's fancy taste of difference type thing Aldi do their own version of that and they've got it's a sticky toffee pudding and it's a banoffee pudding there's two of them so we normally get the sticky toffee pudding one they didn't have it so we've got a banoffee pudding and for some reason the missus is like oh I'll, I'll have one of them banoffee puddings I'm like what well, it's a banoffee pudding I said no. Yeah, I'll, I'll have one. So, but you won't have one because it's one big thing. Like the sticky... You won't say that about sticky... If a big sticky toffee pudding. You won't say, like, I'll have a sticky toffee pudding. So that's been my week, and it's no one else is bothered by it. And that's just I'm, just... I'm just having arguments on here this week that no one else is bothered by. It says a lot more about me than it does about anyone else. Common denominator. Yeah, to shit on your shoe. If it's, it stinks of shit everywhere you go, maybe have a look at your shoe. There you go. Like a, Like Adele. Like Adele. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. So, Daz, generally, how do you think it's going for County? Generally, the season? I know you said before we, we, we'll be okay. Do you think do you think we'll win it? Or or what, what do you think compared All to right. everybody else? It, it, here's where I'm... You miserable bastard. I can see it's going to come. I don't think we're going to win the league, no. Um, okay. But I do think we'll go up. In, in true county fashion, we'll do it the hard way. Yeah, well, I don't oh, think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna win the FA Trophy. We should aim for it. But I got called a dickhead and shit. So. Right. Oh, all right. You know what? Anyways, he's, we're, 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 he's so now. affected by that. So let, affected. Let, that really let, hurts let, you, doesn't let, it? Let Daz talk. Let Daz talk. No, but from a psychological perspective, as I've done a five-minute course on psychology, Russ is well affected by by what you were saying, Nick, because he's brought it back. Even though we'd left it away from the table. He's reached out and brought it back. So his little heart must be hurting about something. Guys, about guys, I, 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 bring, I bring things back from like weeks and years ago. Don't, don't worry yes. about... Minutes this, is nothing, mate. Minutes is nothing. This is what I do, uh, Daz. I, I, I leave a very nasty taste in the mouth to the point yeah. where you dedicate Actually, where, where's, 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 where's the female presenter? Is it, is, it, is it that time of the month? Is that why she's not here? She, she's sick of it. Oh. I don't condone that. I, oh. <laughs> Just, just, well, you know, just, just, just turned it off by now. So, just, just picking up from where you, you know, from where you left off, Nick. You know? Yeah, where I left off and had to apologise for. Oh. Anyway, oh, sorry, getting sorry, back to the FA Trophy. Yeah. Uh, no, no, the league, the league. That's uh, FA Trophy. I think strange things have happened. We might actually go on and win that, you know, because we're not expecting yeah. to. The league. We listen. We can win the league. We definitely can catch them. But I just think. That we've done so much damage in the early part of the season uh, that, that that we're always playing catch up, and um, but I think we're going to run close second or third. But this time we won't trip up. He's a winner. The guy is a winner. But I would definitely like him to add one or two, and I definitely like newbie. Even if he sat on the bench, there's another thing. The fish thing it, it baffles me. Baffles me. We, we don't need him here. He's gaining nothing training with our lads when he could be training with the United lads. He's gaining nothing. It's not about that. Hey, so whatever happened to him... He played in the Chester Senior Cup, didn't he? That, that night when United played all the kids in the Champions League, he was he was in Cheshire Senior Cup action for us. So that must have I, been... I don't know, what, I don't know what that's Matic doing for him. Back. Weird, isn't it? What, what's that doing for him? Mm. No need whatsoever. I, I think Janu no. January, I think he'll be, he'll be back at United, I think. Because the boy Pie, the boy Pie is a decent player, isn't he? The, the, the kid yes. Pie could be yeah. could be a decent player. That kid. Yeah, yeah. So, you can't have fish and pie, can you? Oh, he shoots, he scores. Let me get my guitar. Mix, so. Let me get my guitar <laughs> out in the key of C. Hang on. <laughs> uh, that reminds me. Actually, I've wrote a fucking brilliant county song. If we get up, and I mean, I normally do shite. 
I'm the first to can, tell you that. Right? Can we? Can this, we be on it? Yeah. Do you know what? If Tom from the Blossoms is 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 watching it, I doubt it. Get in touch. Could have me, the Blossoms, Yvette Fielding, Will Meller. Fucking list is endless. Stockport's fine. Honestly, it's, it's a really really good song. We'll even get J.K. Overdub doing the commentary. Fucking brilliant. I'm in. No, I'm being right. serious. I genuinely have wrote a song on the whole. Oh, well, 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 not really. No, the guitar is out of tune. But another time. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, love it. I love it. Um, admin, Ross. Have you got admin to do? No, not really. No, no admin this week. We're, it's all the same admin from the from the weeks before. So I don't. I don't think it needs another mention, does it? This is when people start drifting off when we start doing admin. So I'll, I'll we'll do admin at the start of next week's show. How about that? We normally do, don't we? But, but, but the, yeah, maybe wrapping it up is the phrase I should have used rather than admin. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, let's wrap it up. Um, how do you want to wrap it up, Nick? I'm not really prepared for this bit. Um, so what, should what, we do what, like what, a, I was going to say, issue an apology if I've offended anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sorry. I usually do that. I, I think we should redo Do They Know It's Christmas. That, that'd, That'd be good. That, that's a big... Oh, we've got another week before Christmas, haven't we? We need to yeah. do a big Christmas extravaganza next week, Russ. Yeah. I'll By the way, can well, I just say, yeah. boys, without, without you know, cleaning the ring, I think you boys are doing a, a really good job. I spoke to a couple of county fans who have just stumbled across you. who live down south, you know. I speak to a lot of the Cockney counties. It's of them in the music <laughs> business. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, uh, in fact, one's supposed to be coming up for the Grimsby game, actually. Um, so... And, you know, what you're doing is really, really good. And I'm not just saying it. So keep at it, boys. I know it's rising all the time. And occasionally you have a half wit like me on who comes on and ruins things. But, but well done. Credit where credit's due. I like the mix between sort of Russ being the anchor and Nick just being the loose cannon. I love that. <laughs> Nick being the wanker. Yeah. Well, well you said it. I didn't. <laughs> Comments below. But anyway, guys, keep up the good work because you're doing a, a great job. Well done. Cheers, mate. Appreciate that. Cheers, mate. No problem. Um, Very nice of you to say. So, yes, if you are watching live, please press the like button. If you're not watching live, press the like button. Do subscribe if, if you haven't already. Tell your mates, get them to subscribe. We need to get to a thousand subscribers so it starts washing its face, basically. Um, yeah, and do watch us on the Fan Hub app as well. Join the Fan Hub app. Um, 640 fans, and it's just top 12, uh, 20k in the app. 20k as well. altogether, yeah. I saw that today. That's fantastic stuff, that is. Yes, so it's really gathering momentum now that is the app, so that's really good. Um, t shirt still for sale, that one over there. Got a couple of those in large left if you want one. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. We've got a gig coming yeah. out, we've got a gig in January. We need to get organized, don't we? Um, a gig, we'll get... yeah, we've got a just yeah, well, well, we'll tell you. We might as well tell you. Tell everybody else uh, again. Um, we we've got Flinny and Gary Stockforth joining us at uh, Notion upstairs in Stockport, um, and we've got Rob Britton doing a bit of a um, bit of a set for us. He's a singer songwriter. Nice one. Nice one. So it's a, a live ticketed event. It's going to be probably a tenner in. You get a pint a pint. Then you listen. Get to listen to Flinny and Gary Stockforth talk for a bit about their memories. Yeah. Nice and we, we, we'll have to talk a bit, but it'll be all right, won't it? Yeah, we'll just we'll just facilitate. Can we, can we? <laughs> <laughs> it was going. The fucking sales pitch was going really well, then, and you had to go and bollocks it up, didn't you? <laughs> That's why no, I've been great. Doing the posters. No, it's been great. Good luck. Good luck with right. everything, boys. I'll probably catch it again soon. Although I've, I've reverted back into the main stand uh, temporarily um, yeah. because because I like to watch. When the new managers come in, I like to watch what they're doing and hear what they're saying and stuff. Because you know, I, I just don't go and watch football. I try and see what the managers are doing. Yeah. And by the way, Ash Palmer, welcome back, mate. Because he was outed by that tit, and now he's back, yeah. and he is a fantastic player. And what he's done for us is amazing. And uh, you know, I'd rather have him in our team than anybody else's. So Ash Palmer, if you're watching this, well done, mate. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. He won't be, but well done. Shout out for Ash Palmer. Yeah. Absolutely. All the best, right. boys. I'm going That's now it. to hang out, hang outside the pub for some single women. See you later. Right. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye.
This is the Scarf Bagara War, a Stockport County fan-created podcast, blog, YouTube live show and website. Find us at thescarfbagarawar.co.uk. For county fans, by county fans.